All right, and now let's take a look how we can use context API, which is provided by React to essentially solve our issue. Like I mentioned already in a previous video, if you want to see the exact example we just completed, look for prop drilling. So in the context one, you'll actually see the setup, which we're going to work on right now. Now, the reason why I'm telling you that because I will remove essentially the user and logout from the nav links, as well as the nav bar and user container. So we'll start from the scratch. Just keep in mind that if you ever need a reference, it's right over here in the final. So one by one, let's remove them because that's not how we're going to pass them down. So let's remove over here. Let's save. Then we want to do the same thing in the nav links. Effectively, we're looking for a way to bypass this one or multiple components that we have sitting in between the main one, the parent, and then whichever component wants to use those values. So let's remove this. And I'll probably have an error right now. So you know what? Let me just return something else. For now, again, we will remove this. I just don't want React to start looking for the user value and all that. So let's just go with return and we'll go with hello world. Let's save it. We should be good to go. Now, how we can pass those values down without doing the prop drilling? Well, like I said, we need to use context API. Now, there's multiple ways how, again, we can invoke this. If you have React imported, you can go with React and then create context. But again, you'll have to import React, of course. Notice, once I save, I'll have big fat error because React is not defined, just like with use state. Or we can right away import that, correct? So since we already have use state, we can go with create context. And essentially, in the parent, we want to invoke that create context. And this is going to return two things. It's going to return a provider component and a consumer component. However, since there is a use context hook, I mean, there's really no need for the consumer. However, we will use the provider. So first, I want to go above the nav bar, and I'll right away export, since eventually we will import the context I'm about to create in the user container. That's why I right away go with export, and then const, and come up with a name. And since we're working in the nav bar, I mean, kind of makes sense if I name this nav bar context. And that one is going to be equal to create context. We can pass in the default value, but we're not going to do that. And essentially, once we invoke this, we get back a bunch of useful stuff. And we can log that one here. So if we go here with context, we should see a bunch of cool things in a console. Let me just clean it out. Notice. Essentially, this is what we're getting back, but our main interest is in this provider. That's what we definitely want to get. Again, we used to use consumer, but now use context hook, which we're about to cover, actually replaced it. So there's no need for it anymore. And basically, if we go here with dot notice, I have these options and the provider is what we're looking for. So we want to grab that provider and go to a main parent, basically the component which is going to provide those values. And we want to wrap the return in that provider. So we go to our nav bar, and as I said, I think I can just move this, and then we want to wrap our nav in the nav bar context, that's the name, dot, and then the provider. Now what's really cool, that provider as a value prop. And essentially, whatever you'll pass over here, you'll have access anywhere in that tree. Again, we have three components, but please keep in mind, you can have a setup with 15 components. So anywhere in that component tree, you'll have access to this value. Now, you can simply go here with hello, and you'll be able to pass it. However, as you're looking at it, you're probably thinking, well, what's the use case of hello? I mean, it's nice that I can access it in the user container, but that's not what I'm looking for. And you're absolutely correct. So here's what we can do. We can turn this value into an object. 
So please keep in mind, this is not a special syntax. Again, I'm just simply going back to a JavaScript land and I'll set it up as an object. That's it. This is not a special syntax for double curlies. I keep getting these questions in the course Q and A. So I really want to stress that. I simply want to set up an object. And if you want to make it more readable, you can set it up over here. You can create an object and then pass it directly here in a value. If that's easier for you to read. Now, I'm not going to do that, but just an option. So I have an object. And now notice, effectively, I can pass both of them down here in this object as properties. I can say user is equal to user and a logout is equal to a logout. Let's save that. And now we need to go to a user container and notice how we're nicely bypassing the nav links and we want to grab those values. And for that, we'll need two things. We'll need a nav bar context. That's why we're exporting. And also we'll need a use context hook from the React. So let's navigate to a user container. And in here, let's import both of those things, the use context as well as nav bar context. So I'm going to go for now above the return again. I don't want to get the error. And essentially, we want to go with use context hook, which is a special hook, which is looking for that context. Again, this is coming from React, just like use state, use effect, and all that. And we want to pass in that nav bar context or whatever context you have. So the one that's in the parent, whatever you create over here, you export. And then the use context is going to be looking for that. So in here, I can go with nav bar and context. And since my auto imports are working, we're good to go. Now, what is this returning? Well, let's go back to a nav bar. What are we setting up over here? An object, correct? So let's try this one out. I'm going to come up with a variable and I'll set it equal to a value. And you'll notice nicely in the console that we have access to that object. So I have user with the name property as well as the logout one. So in my JSX, I can either go with dot and then grab the logout or user, or we can do the structuring, right? So instead of grabbing the value, I'll say, yep. Yeah. I know for sure that I'm getting back the object. So let's go here with user and then the logout. And now, of course, I simply want to return hello world and everything is going to work like peaches. And again, the main goal here is to bypass the nav links. Notice nav links is not getting any props. It's not passing any props. I'm getting everything directly here in the user container and my functionality still works.